Hyundai builds its heavy equipment to work hard and last long, but even the toughest machines need proper care and maintenance to work at peak efficiency. In this video, we're going to review instructions and safety recommendations for effective maintenance of the Hyundai Excavator, including lubrication, inspection, and adjustments. These recommendations emphasize safe maintenance practices and enhance performance and longevity for the Hyundai Excavator. It's crucial that you read and thoroughly understand all the information in the operator's manual before you operate the machine. Safety first is the top priority when operating and doing maintenance on any heavy machinery. This includes proper clothing such as hard hats, gloves, safety glasses, ear protection, and safety shoes, as well as other protective gear that may be required based on job conditions. Remember, most accidents are caused by ignoring basic fundamentals of safe operating practices. Maintenance procedures can be divided into three categories. The first are procedures that should be performed on a daily basis or after 10 hours of operation. Next, those procedures which should be done weekly or every 50 hours. Finally, those that should be done monthly or after every 250 operating hours. To check the hydraulic oil level, first, make sure the arm and bucket cylinders are fully retracted. Operate the boom and arm to position attachment as shown in maintenance decal. Ensure the machine's turned off. Check the hydraulic oil level gauge, which is located on the side of the hydraulic tank. The oil levels should be between the two red lines on the gauge. To check the engine oil level, it's crucial that the excavator be on a level surface. If the machine has been running, turn it off. Make sure to wait at least 15 minutes before proceeding. Remove the dipstick, then use a clean rag to wipe it off. Reinsert the dipstick fully and remove it again. Normal oil levels will fall within the slightly indented area closest to the tip of the dipstick. If the level falls below that area, you need to add more oil. If the oil is above the indented area, drain oil out to achieve the optimal level. To check the engine coolant level, ensure the engine is cool. The coolant level should be checked before the engine has been running. Examine the coolant surge tank. The coolant level should be between the full and low mark. If the coolant is at the low level or under, remove the surge tank cap and add more coolant. It can be dangerous to remove a surge tank or radiator cap if the engine has been running and is hot. Always wait until the engine has cooled before removing the cap. Checking the fuel tank level is a two-step process. First, assess the level in the monitor. It's important to verify the fuel level by manually inspecting the fuel tank itself. If the tank is close to full, you can verify the level by inspecting the fuel tank gauge on the side of the tank. If the tank is less full, remove the fuel cap and visually check the level. If you need to use the fuel tank drain, it's located at the bottom of the tank. Diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, is a crucial factor in ensuring your excavator meets strict emissions requirements. It's important to follow strict protocols when handling DEF to avoid contamination. Contamination is the chief cause of DEF system failures. Check the DEF levels on the monitor daily. Checking the levels at the start of the day is preferred because that's the optimal time to add more fluid if needed. If you need to add more DEF, make sure to wipe off the top of the tank before removing the cap. This will minimize the possibility of contamination. When adding the diesel exhaust fluid, pay close attention to the warning light. When the light illuminates, the tank is full and you should immediately stop adding fluid. Checking the pre-filter trap for water and sediment must be done periodically during each operating day. The drain is located on the bottom of the pre-filter. To drain the trap, turn the drain valve counterclockwise. Once the trap is empty, turn the valve clockwise. Make sure you don't over-tighten the cap. 
Check the pre-filter trap periodically throughout the day as conditions warrant to ensure the bowl is never more than one-third full. Now we begin the weekly maintenance schedule. These procedures should be performed after every 50 hours of operation. The bucket mounting pins and control links should be greased at least once a week. First, ensure that pin retainers are tight and lock nuts are installed, and also check for broken O-rings and shim placements. Several parts in this area should be greased weekly. The bucket cylinder rod end, bucket and arm connecting pin, bucket control link and arm ends, bucket control rod. Before checking the fuel tank for solids and sediment that may have settled at the bottom, ensure you have an appropriate container in which to drain the fuel. Open the drain valve at the bottom of the tank and begin draining the fuel into the container. Inspect the fuel for any debris or discoloration. You should continue draining fuel until it comes out clean. When the fuel shows no sign of discoloration or sediment, close the valve. You'll find the swing reduction gear at the bottom of the swing motor assembly. Checking the gear oil level is another weekly maintenance step. To check the oil, first remove the dipstick. Wipe the dipstick to clean it, then reinsert it. Remove the dipstick again to check the gear oil level. You can top off the oil by slowly adding it through the dipstick tube. Recheck the oil with a clean dipstick. If the oil shows signs of water or debris, drain the oil completely and refill it with fresh oil. To check the track tension, first swing the upper frame perpendicular to the left track. Swing the arm in or out until it's at a 90 degree angle from the boom. Lower the boom to the ground and continue the pressure. Keep up the pressure until the left track is completely off the ground and the bottom is hanging free. During the rest of this inspection, stay out from under the track and track frame to ensure your safety. Check the tension of the track by measuring in the center from the bottom of the track frame to the back of the track shoe at the lowest point of sag. Ensure the measurements conform to the specification in the operating guide. You can adjust the track tension by increasing or decreasing the grease volume from the track adjuster. Repeat the procedure to check the tension on the right track. In this section, we'll cover monthly maintenance procedures. These should be done after every 250 hours of operation. The boom and arm pins should be greased monthly. There are several points that need this maintenance. In the upper lubrication manifold, the bucket cylinder tube end, the boom and arm connecting pin, and the arm cylinder rod end. Then, the boom cylinder tube ends. In the lower lubrication manifold, the boom foot pins, the boom cylinder rod ends, and the arm cylinder tube ends. The swing bearing on the chassis upright has grease fittings on the front and back. These fittings should be lubricated once a month. The battery must be checked monthly to ensure it has enough power and hasn't started to corrode. The engine should not be running during this inspection. Also make sure you flip the battery disconnect switch. Remove the battery cover. First, check both the positive and negative terminals for any sign of corrosion and clean them if needed. Next, check the battery voltage in the machine monitor. The optimal battery level is 24 volts. If the level is lower than 11 volts, it's time to recharge or replace the battery. Here's a tip. Using the disconnect switch can prevent excessive battery drain during long periods of no operation. Finally, we'll check and clean the cabin AC filters. Start with the fresh air filter, which is located on the left exterior of the cabin. 
Remove the filter and check it for any clogging. If needed, replace it with a clean filter. To inspect the recirculation filter inside the cab, pull the seat forward. Open the filter compartment door and remove the filter. Wash the filter with warm water and let it dry. Before replacing the filter, check the screen for any damage such as tears or holes. Sticking to a regular maintenance routine will allow your Hyundai excavator to perform efficiently and safely. And remember, thoroughly familiarize yourself with the operating manual. It can help you detect any problems that arise in between the maintenance procedures.